What makes for excellence in heart care? It starts with one of the most amazing teams of heart surgeons and cardiologists that I've seen assembled under one roof and the region's leading technology in a new $40 million facility. This is the nationally recognized Heart and Vascular Institute of Eastern Kentucky at Pikeville Medical Center. On Monday, February 27th, the Pikeville City Commission discussed and approved the Pikeville Pedestrian Master Plan. Thanks to a survey conducted by the Area Development District, they were able to identify a list of, quote, problem areas in the city. The plan is possible through a grant received by the Pike County Health Department. The Pike County Health Department got a, received a grant uh, to produce a pedestrian plan. Uh, so it was prepared by Big Sandy Area Development District in Prestonsburg and it was for the city of Pikeville, so we were instrumental in that planning process. Uh, the, the Area Development District, or the AD, uh, did a, a large survey, received a number of responses from the community about problem areas around town or things that they would like to see. And the end result of that plan is that there's kind of a, a top 10 list of, of things that need to be done to improve pedestrian safety or to um, uh, to make things safer for pedestrians. With more people getting out and moving around the city either on foot or bicycle, the idea is to help keep the streets safer. Ellswick claims one unnamed project will soon begin development. So we'll be working in the coming years to kind of work through that top 10 list to address those issues. Uh, and actually, uh, we are getting ready to start on, on one of the projects uh, very shortly. So we're, we'll be working through that. It, it will hopefully add some facilities, sidewalk facilities or crosswalks. Um, that's certainly the goal, but the, the overarching goal is to make it a safe environment for the people using the streets. And over the past few years, uh, there's been really exponential growth in the number of people that you see out walking and running and biking, uh, which is great. I mean, it's a sign of a healthy community and uh, a growing community. So that's what that project's about. Reporting from Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.